This is HTP's newest welder, the Inverting 221H. It's an AC-DC TIG machine, has a lot of features, it's extremely small, got a very small footprint. It weighs in at an astounding 40 pounds. This machine is about the size of a briefcase, and yet it has capabilities of machines that years ago were 10 times the size, 20 times the size. So we're going to go through uh, some of the features right off the bat. I'm going to show you. It's got a nice little protective cover there. Taking a look at the front panel, you can see that everything is laid out right where you need it, right at your fingertips. You've got a center knob there that adjusts your amperage, and you can see this machine works from 4 amps all the way up to 220 amps, which gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. You can weld extremely thin sheet metal right on up to fairly heavy sections. Uh, anything other than that, a machine this size will handle 99% of anything you're going to do in your shop. What I'd like to do now is take you through some of the features of the HTP Inverting 221H AC-DC TIG machine. And this way you can see the capabilities that this machine has and how it will fit into your fabrication needs. So we'll get started right away. Okay, here's the box. Uh, this is the machine itself, and for a scale comparison, I've got one of HTP's Stryker Digital helmets there. You can see this machine is literally the size of a briefcase. And to be able to have from 4 amps all the way up to 220 amps in a package this small, well, that just makes it a lot easier to put into your shop no matter what the size. This thing is not a big monster machine. It's not going to take up a lot of room. And when you find out what it'll run on, a uh, regular 220 line single phase on a 30 amp breaker, you're never going to pop a breaker with this machine. We've used this machine for over a year in our shop daily. Every single day we've hammered this machine 8, 10 hours a day, sometimes more when we've had big projects. And it has never missed a beat, never hiccuped, never given us one minute's problems. Uh, typical HTP reliability and uh, it's built like a tank even though it's small this thing you can just tell looking at it when you pick it up this is rock solid I really like a lot of the features and I'd like to show you some of them right now now we're going to take a look at the front panel here and I'm just going to go over a couple of things right off the bat this center knob this is your amperage adjustment and as I said before you can run it down as low as 4 amps and all the way up as high as 220. Now that in itself is pretty impressive. You have a high frequency which you can turn on and off. Now this is something that is good in certain instances if you're working anywhere there's sensitive electronics. Uh, they always use the example of if you're working in a hospital uh, you can't have the high frequency. It can interfere with electronic instrumentation, pacemakers, that sort of thing. Uh, you would turn the high frequency off and then this becomes a lift arc start. So what you would do is you touch the tungsten to the work, hit the pedal and lift the tungsten off and your arc would start. 99% of the time you're not going to have to worry about that because not many of us are actually welding in hospitals. So we just leave our high frequency on. It's got several different modes. Uh, right here the mode button and it'll tell you what you're at. This is TIG. This is the 4T. Now that's very popular in Europe, not too popular here, but the machine is capable of running in the 4T mode. That would be a torch that has an on-off switch on it. I'm not going to get into that, but the machine's capable of running 4T. Also, you can set up TIG spot, and that will allow you to set a spot welding time. You hit the pedal, it lights the torch for a specific amount of time, and then shuts itself off. Again. I don't use that. Uh, I just kind of crank my amperage all the way up, but some people, if they're doing a lot of work, repetitive work, and they want it to be exactly the same, this is a great feature. Stick, you can change this over to running a stick welding out of this. Uh, it gives it a little extra versatility, but for the most part, we're buying this machine because it's a TIG welder, and we're going to leave it on the 2T. That's the standard. Okay, over here you have a volt window, also that'll show you your balance at times, and your frequency. Now that's an AC. I've got the AC on now. I can turn the AC off just by simply holding the button. You can pulse on DC. Your pulse frequency is showing. Right now I've got it three and a half. 
it'll pulse down 0.4 which is really basically off there's no pulse there and on DC this machine will pulse all the way up to 999 cycles per second that will sound like uh, a B in your ear if you light up at that kind of frequency but you may need to do that you may need to have that capability now on AC if we turn AC on you'll see the light will come on with AC and we can hit our pulse frequency now the max on AC is 10 alright and that would be 10 pulses per second most people are going to run anywhere between 1 and 5 uh, 1 is good when you're really learning how to dip your rod it gives you that dot 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 kind of cadence and that allows you to kind of time the uh, rod being dipped into the puddle very helpful when people are learning how to weld you'll use it for other things as you get more proficient but most of you already know about that if you don't look up pulse welding or pulse TIG but basically that allows you to uh, set up the torch in such a way that your bead is very consistent and very equal and nicely spaced and you get that stack of dimes that everybody's looking for and it's a lot easier uh, to do it that way than to do it the old-fashioned way which is by doing it manually okay on AC if we push the AC FAC that's our frequency and we can run our frequency the old days you only got 60 cycles that was it 60 was what you could get on your frequency because that's what the machine ran at nowadays with these inverter machines you can adjust your frequency from 20 all the way up to 200 on AC and that will definitely allow you to work very thin metals uh, focus the arc and just basically be more uh, precise in your welding something that you have to determine on your own is something that you'll have to find your own personal preferences and when you do find your personal preferences you can store them this machine has 99 memories if I'm not mistaken I could be mistaken it could have 60 memories but don't hold me to it all I know is it's got more memories than you're ever going to use and you can store a job you can turn around and say okay I want uh, 125 amps and I want my frequency to be 160 right there let's see 160 and I want my balance to be 75 now that's a job that I like I want to run 125 amps 160 on the frequency and 75 on my balance I'm gonna store my job program one you can go all the way up okay 64 memories there you go uh, so I want to store that as program one I come over here to store job and I hold it till it beeps twice and that job is stored now down through the day I change things around and I want to uh, run some stuff at 80 amps I change my parameters I can come back here and say retrieve the job simply by holding these two buttons down program one and set job two beeps and I'm back to my original as you can see 160 125 amps 160 cycles frequency and it was showing 75 on my balance so there you have it that's another uh, nice feature of this machine you can set on pulse you can set your slope down you can set your low end uh, for pulse now we're we've got at low end we're running 39 percent there uh, some people run about 50 percent and what that does is if you're welding at 100 amps on pulse and you set your low range at 50 percent when it cycles down it'll cycle from 100 amps down to 50 amps and that allows you to freeze that puddle and get that stack of dimes look that everybody likes it uh, helps in a lot of ways especially new guys coming in they'll uh, they'll find that the pulse helps them uh, get their cadence down and not burn through quite so easily but again something that you have to do a little bit of homework on your own if there's any questions that you ever have on any of these machines you can call up HTP USA weld and they're happy to answer any of the questions for you 
the control panel is really nicely laid out. There's not a million things going on here, but there certainly is a tremendous amount of adjustability and flexibility in this machine. Now here, there's slope down. You can adjust that where it slopes the amperage down. Again, that's not something that I'm going to get into right now. I'm just going over the features that this machine has. Slope down, we already showed the low end. Pre-gas, now that's pretty neat. If you hit pre-gas and set it on two seconds, let's say. What that does is when you activate the pedal on this machine, gas will begin to flow for two seconds before the machine actually lights up. So sometimes if you want to purge your area of any external atmosphere and get that good argon shield going, you might want to set your pre-gas up one second, two seconds before the torch actually lights up. You can also set post-gas. Now we all know that everybody says it's uh, one second for every 10 amps. So if you're running 100 amps, theoretically you want to put 10 seconds of post-gas. Well, I think the people that said that are the people that sell the argon. Uh, we find that about six, seven seconds of gas, post-gas, is pretty much good for about anything you're going to do. If you're really welding hot, then yeah, you know, crank your, uh, crank your post-gas up a little bit and you'll be okay. You can set the frequency, as I said. You can set the balance all the way down from 10% all the way up to 90% and that will allow you to alter whether you're going to have more penetration or more cleaning action. None of these things are carved in stone. These are all things that uh, give TIG welding the flexibility and the power that it does have by being able to adjust all these parameters. I know for a lot of people it's almost overwhelming. There's so many things that this machine is capable of doing. You say, where do I start? Well, where you start is just at the beginning. Uh, First off, I really suggest if you're not a proficient welder, get a book, take a course, go down to your welding supply, uh, look things up on the internet because there's a wealth of knowledge there. If you are experienced, then anything I say, you already know. But this machine is going to absolutely change the way you work. This machine is five stars. It's six stars. I'm telling you, this machine has absolutely changed the way we work here at HRE Fab and uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. As I said, over a year in the shop, worked every day, and this thing has never missed a beat. It's got high quality components. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the connections. Down at the bottom, we have Dinsey connectors that are the industry standard. Um, the hoses are ultra flexible, really does make a difference on uh, long sessions. You don't have a hard, rigid hose. Uh, weighing you down. These hoses are very, very light, very flexible, and very rugged. You have a foot pedal control. It'll also take the hand pedal control. I did a little review a while back on the uh, HTP hand control. Very, very nice piece. The torches are highest quality. Um, you're not going to burn out a torch. They're not some uh, offshore version. They're made right here in the USA, those torches, and they are absolutely industry top quality pieces. I've got some scrap aluminum here. It's about uh, 035, 040, somewhere in that vicinity. I'm just going to put this together using the pulse feature. And I'll show you how nice this, uh, this machine welds. I'm running a 1 16th electrode. I'm running 40 amps with 3 pulse per second and 55% on the low side. And that also helps. Now, uh, outside of my two ugly tack welds on the end, um, and burning off some crud because I really didn't uh, 
prepare this all that well, you can see, I'll uh, just brush this off and you'll be able to see what a nice weld this actually makes. And this is really, really thin sheet metal. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so that you can uh, get a look at it. Maybe I'll just take a still for you. So there you can see with 40 amps, 3 pulses per second, 160 hertz on the frequency, and a low side of 55%, uh, you got a really nice bead on 40 thousandths aluminum that doesn't burn through. You don't have to uh, stitch weld it. You can just weld right across the seam and you won't have any problems. And if you look uh, the cleaning action there on the heat affected zone, it's nice and tight. It's not spread out all over the place. And that's a nice feature when you want to do some work and not have to have a lot of uh, after weld cleanup. While a cooler is technically an accessory, in my book it's really a necessity. Anybody who's TIG welded with an air-cooled torch will tell you that they get hot, you have to put them down, you can't run really long seams with them before they start to overheat. A cooler eliminates all those problems and it allows you to work cleaner, cooler, and with more confidence. Frankly, if your torch isn't burning your fingers, you're going to concentrate on your weld rather than trying to get that last little bead done before your fingers cook out from under your glove. So a cooler, in my opinion, absolutely goes hand in glove with the machine. Now for the small amount of money additional that a cooler is going to cost you, it's really going to improve everything about the whole TIG welding experience. And in particular, HTP's cooler is designed to work directly with the 221. It's not some kind of uh, a cobbled together piece. It works, it plugs directly in. As you can hear, it's running, it's extremely quiet. It's got a solid brass pump, so that'll give you years of service. And it's a two gallon reservoir. The leading competitor's cooler is a one gallon reservoir. In order to upgrade to two gallons, it'll cost you a significant amount of money. You get two gallons right out of the box with the HTP cooler, it plugs right in, it's a no-brainer, makes your life easy, and as I said, it also is a small footprint, won't take up a lot of room, so think about it when you're about to purchase this for the little additional money, get it with a cooler and a water-cooled torch, you're going to be a whole lot happier in the long run. So just to wrap up, the HTP Invertig 221H ACDC TIG machine small footprint, lightweight, 40 pounds, 4 amps to 220 amps, everything is adjustable, frequency, balance, you name it, pulse, this machine's got it all. If you're in the market for a TIG, this is where you have to stop. This is the machine that you want to put in your shop because it'll give you years and years and years of absolutely flawless performance. It's backed by their good solid warranty no nonsense 90 day money back if you don't like the machine give them a call send it back I don't know anybody that's gonna do that this machine once you get it in your hand you're not gonna let anybody near it give them a call today 1-800-USA-WELD personal service excellent customer service it's really really a nice company to do business with